A press conference held Thursday at Government House announced the federal government would be investing money to assess schools in all U.S. territories, starting with the VI. The governor says the initiative will provide crucial information in assessing the physical conditions of public schools here in the territory. It will address exactly the type of investments we have to make, looking at the, our schools, the conditions of our schools, and give us a planning document that we'll be able to address over a long period of time what we need to do, both with respect to deferred maintenance, but also with respect to reconstruction of existing facilities. The Insular Assessment of Buildings and Classrooms is an initiative that's phase two of a program the Department of the Interior began with the Army Corps of Engineers. The Department of the Interior says it plans to work with the local school facility maintenance personnel to assess all public, elementary, middle, and high school buildings. Knowing that my office and your government have limited resources for maintaining and building education facilities, uh, we wanted to equip you with information that will help maximize uh, your, your return on investment. We are not commencing this to be in no way critical of current management, but to empower this community with the information so that future decisions are based on clear need. Then the government can use, along with the Senate when we're doing budgeting and allocations, to determine how much money to allocate each year, and more specifically, which schools we need to allocate those funds to. The inspections will take two to four months, but the VI won't receive its results for another 12 to 14 months as the schools in other territories are also inspected. Charlotte Hancock, News 2.